اسعد الله اوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام واهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده مع برنامج رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف رجل او سيده اعمال رحبوا معنا اليوم بمدام ازيو هاي مدام Hello. In the beginning, special welcome from Business Pioneer Program from ABC TV, and we are curious to know more about you and how did you start your company here? I had to start jewelry because I was feeling that women aren't getting enough information on their jewelry. They're buying their jewelry and they're trusting. You see, it's mostly men who sell the jewelry, and they have to trust a man's word. But I think it is very important that women buy jewelry from women. Because women wear jewelry, you should be buying. Why would you buy jewelry from a man when he's not going to wear it? A woman wears the jewelry; she understands the jewelry, and then she can recommend what's good for you and not. So this is the whole reason why I began this business because I wasn't getting enough information from anybody on the jewelry, on the stones, on the metal, on everything that I was buying. So solving this problem, what did you do, and what did you add for jewelry industry? And what's special about your jewelry? So the first thing I did was I went to jewelry school. I went to like Col Van Cleef in Naples in Paris, and I studied jewelry. And then I did not stop there. I continued studying, and I first started designing things to for myself, to see what I like. Yeah. Doing that, I understood the stones. I understood what worked, what didn't work. I saw the price points. I figured everything, and then I realized I was ready to sell. And when friends were willing to buy my jewelry, that was when I thought I said, "Okay, now is the time to start a business." Can you tell us about your most famous uh, jewelry designs that your company is proud of about it? So we've done. I'm proud of every piece that I create. I mean, it's beautiful because I do natural diamonds, I do lab diamonds, I do moissanites. Sometimes, if the client wants cubic zirconia, if it's a very large piece and they want to mix. Uh, stones, then I mix all of them together. So I do everything. So no woman is left out in my business. And uh, but my favorite piece is my Museum of the Future piece. You must see it. It's a cuff, and uh, it has no stones. It's solid gold. So it is one of the best investments you can make. And it is in the shape of the Museum of the Future. It also has the calligraphy of Museum of the Future, and it sits. It's bespoke. So when a woman makes an order, I have to take the measurement of her hand because it sits on the hand like as though it's floating. There is no clasp, there is no contraption. It sits like this, and it's beautiful. It's like as though it's floating on her hand. So among all this big competition here in Dubai in jewelry industry, how you make yourself and your services here special and attractive? Very important. You want to make yourself special. You have to deliver the best product. Your product has to be very good, very high quality, and your after-sale service. Give a good product, have good service. This is, I think, for any business, not only in jewelry. But you also have to understand your client, and you. I think that is very important. Every client is treated like the most important person in the world for me. No matter, even if she's buying something really small, or if she's buying something very big, she's on an equal footing in my company. And the best thing I can say is that. Every client of mine, I have an 85% repeat of my clients. So once I get a client, I know my client never leaves. I think what makes me different from all other jewelers is that I have a client. I can give gold and natural diamonds right up to lab diamonds, to moissanites, to uh, lab and synthetic uh, jewels like emeralds and sapphires, and uh, silver. So my all the women are uh, covered in this. It's this business is for everybody. So I have jewelry for everybody. So I think this is very special. I can every woman can come to me. And secondly, I give a lot of client advice. There's a lot of consultation. My client, I tell, explain to them about the jewelry, and I think that is very important. That personal touch is there in my business. After all of this success, what's your future plan and what's your vision for your business? Okay, so I think now I have got a grasp of the business, and I feel good. We are an online platform at the moment, and uh, my next is, of course, I need to go global and have uh, brick and mortar stores. From your long experience as a businesswoman here in Dubai, what's your advice for anyone who's interested to start his own new business? But first, Dubai is the best place to start. Don't go anywhere else. It is so safe. It is so easy. 
It is beautiful, right from the banking systems to the financial systems to the security and the safety, I think, and the platforms, the opportunities is unbelievable. It has been, I cannot tell you how, how beautiful this whole experience has been for me. In the end, would you please tell all the people and the ladies who's watching you how they can get your jewelries and contact with you? They can uh, go to www.azaleo.com and uh, that's where they can see. I have Azaleo has two main. One is a bespoke where our number is there and they can call us for a consultation. The others, they can just go to our website, look at all the beautiful jewelry and buy it. Thank you very, very much. Hope you all the best and the whole success in the world. Thank you so much. إلى هنا تنتهي حلقة اليوم تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله